Hi there, my name is Dan. I'm going to be doing the move of the month for June. Uh, we're going to go over the rower today. Uh, first things first, you're going to notice some numbers on the right side here. Uh, for our purposes, we can just consider those the uh, resistance. So somewhere between a 3 and a 6 is usually going to be your best bet. Next thing, uh, with the foot straps, you want the straps right here to be basically right around the knuckles of your toes. So for me, I have about 10, 10 inch foot, and uh, I like to have mine around a 4. So when we grip the handle, I'm going to do so with a good straight back. Uh, we're always going to maintain really good posture for this. And then we're going to break down the stroke into three sets, three parts. We're going to have a leg drive. Notice my back angle stays the same on this part. Then we're going to incorporate a hip drive. Just leaning back. You kind of think about if you're on a clock, you're going to be going from a 10 to a 2. Okay? So, hip drive. And then when we're at the 2, we're just going to be finishing with the arms and not necessarily trying to get the most uh, energy out of our arms. We're just going to be finishing that stroke and that, that'll help us uh, move back. So putting all together, legs, hips, arms, and then on the way back, we're just going to reverse the order. Arms, hips, legs. One common mistake is people get to this end range motion and then they shoot back. Want to have that recovery period. So try and think about driving about 70% effort with our legs, shooting back as fast as we can, and then allowing ourselves that recovery period to get ready for the next row. In your June move of the month, my phone number is 425-444-0781. See you around.